Very first test of the can crusher. So we've got uh, 3D printed gears on the top here. The one in the middle is basically just a transfer gear. It's driven from this one, which that's uh, just a test one, which seems to work for the moment. We'll see how it goes. There's a moderately chunky stepper motor there and its driver. I think I'm only putting one and a half amps into it at the moment. It'll probably take two easily enough. We'll see how it goes. Uh, these are some cans I did manually and it's not too bad. I think there's uh, pretty much because uh, inside the Guinness can there's a little plastic ball. It's the widget that lets out the nitrogen when you open the can and that's pretty much the size of the ball that's in there so I think I've hit the limit there. So now we've got another sacrificial can and uh, see how it goes with the driver. Okay, not very far at all. More power. Alright, two amps. Let's try that. Not so good. Three amps. under tension but right more power isn't doing it I think I need more gearing so mark two I've uh, Increased the gearing quite a lot. So where there was just the floating gear in the middle that was acting as a transfer That's now driven and I've printed this much larger Cog on top of it as part of the same gear And then we have another much smaller gear on the end of the stepper motor here Which has given me about ten times as much torque as I had in the previous incarnation uh, It's a little bit Frankenstein up here with the driver sitting on the, the hedge there. I'll tidy that up But uh, so it seems to work quite well now it takes about 15 minutes to crush a can, but uh, they come out pretty good. This is uh, one that I just did, and uh, this is one that I did by hand earlier, uh, when I just had the hand crank on top of it, and they're pretty much the same size, so I'm quite pleased with that.